Welcome to day two of the NATM Trailer Safety Week. Today I would like to talk with you about how to properly hitch a bumper pull trailer to your tow vehicle. It is always best to make sure the trailer is on level ground when you store it. This will make it safer and easier to attach. We'll start by raising the tongue of the trailer using our jack to a height that is above the top of the ball. Back up the tow vehicle until the ball is directly under the coupler. This can be easier with two people. Ask your spotter to point which way the ball has to go with hand signals and adjust as required while backing. Once the ball and coupler are aligned, set the parking brake, put the vehicle in park, and turn off the engine. Now we can lower the coupler down onto the ball using the jack. Make sure that the ball is centered. If it's too far back, it can catch the locking mechanism and cause a problem. If this happens, just raise the tongue with the jack, move the vehicle forward, and try again. Once the tongue is down on the ball, secure the coupler with this latch. It should latch easily. If it doesn't, don't force it. Instead, try taking some pressure off the latch by raising the jack slightly or moving the vehicle forward a little bit. Then secure the latch. Be sure to insert the safety locking pin or coupler lock into the coupler once it's attached to the ball. Make sure the jack is all the way up and on either side of the tongue you'll find safety chains that must be attached to the tow vehicle securely and crossed under the tongue. These chains prevent the trailer from getting away from the tow vehicle if it becomes detached from the ball and crossing them can help prevent the tongue from hitting the ground. If the trailer is equipped with brakes, attach the breakaway cable to the hitch. All Big Tex trailers with a GVWR of 14,000 pounds or higher are equipped with this handy zip breakaway cable. The accordion design prevents the cable from dragging the ground and the carabiner clip makes attaching to the hitch quick and easy. Now you can connect your wiring harness to the vehicle. This supplies power to the lights and brakes if it's equipped. Join us tomorrow for a look at proper cargo distribution. Thanks for watching. For Big Tech's Trailers, I'm JD Schmidt.